Are you ready to master this setup? In this video, we're going to set up your Cricut ID. We're going to pair your Cricut Joy with your computer. We're going to cut a sample vinyl sticker and we're going to use the Cricut transfer tape. This video is in real time. There's no speeding. It's slow paced so you don't have to stress. My name is Donna. Welcome to another video from Junk Journal Ideas and I'm doing a collab with Cricut Australia. To continue on with the way I'm showing you how to do this setup, we're going to register you for an ID first. So I want you to close down the app we just installed. And you can close down this app by going up to the left hand top corner left mouse click on these three bars scroll down to sign out and left mouse click on sign out or you can go up to the top right hand corner and left mouse click on the x now don't forget you can follow along using my cheat sheet you can download this from my website the link is in the description below now you've closed down. If you remember in the video before this one, I showed you that when you install the Cricut Design Space app, it puts a shortcut on your desktop. So I want you to go to the shortcut on your desktop and I want you to double click on the Cricut icon. Now sometimes when you do this, it'll want to do an upgrade. So if it does that, just let that happen. Now, because you haven't set up your ID yet, it's not just going to let you log straight in. So it's got the green button here that says product setup or sign in. So we're going to left mouse click on the product setup. Now, this is where we're actually going to create our Cricut ID, which is virtually creating a profile. So you need to put in your email address here. Now put in a password on this line here and put your first name in here, your last name in this one and click on this field here so you can select what country you're in. I'm in Australia, so I just select Australia. If you want Cricut to send you emails, you can check that first box. Otherwise, you have to check the I agree to Cricut terms of use and privacy policy. I know you've done this before, but you've got to do it again. So check that box and then that changes to green and then you left mouse click on this green box, create Cricut ID. Now your screen will change to let's get set up. So left mouse click on the smart cutting machine picture. Then you've got to choose the cutting machine we're setting up, which is the Cricut Joy. So left mouse click on the picture of the Cricut Joy. You've got to make sure that your Cricut Joy is not close to the wall. And once you've done that, so just click this arrow here. Then plug in the power to the back of your Cricut Joy. And once that's plugged in, then left mouse click on this arrow again. Now this symbol here, it is a Bluetooth. You know how you might have a printer and your printer connects to your computer wireless. Now with this Cricut Joy, we're going to be using Bluetooth connection not wireless. So see here in below the symbol, it says Joy FAG Bluetooth. Now what I'm going to show you is what happens when your computer has the Bluetooth turned on and it sees your Cricut Joy and what happens if your Bluetooth is turned off and it doesn't find your Cricut Joy. So I'm going to show you what it looks like if you are connected to the Bluetooth. Left mouse click on the continue button. 
and if you're connected correctly to the Bluetooth it's going to move through to this page and it'll say let's activate joy. Now if this page does show for you you can skip ahead until you get to let's activate joy. But now I'm just going to go ahead and show you the second demo of what it would look like if you are not connected to the Bluetooth. If you're not connected properly, you're going to hit the connect button and then you're going to see this happen. It's just going to say, please wait. And this circle will go round and round and round forever. So what you've got to do to fix this is go up to the back button up on the left hand corner here, then down in the bottom right hand corner and where you see that little wavy wireless icon, you need to left mouse click on that. Now on the left, you've got your wireless, but in the middle here, you've got your Bluetooth icon. So that's the one you're looking for, not your wireless. The reason that that little circle was spinning was because your Bluetooth is not connected. So what you need to do is connect your Bluetooth. So see the little arrow facing to the right and it says manage Bluetooth devices. So left mouse click on that. At the very top here, it says Bluetooth. If you move over to the right, you'll see this blue button. The blue indicates that my Bluetooth is turned on. If this is a gray button, it means it's turned off. If your button is gray, left mouse click on it to make sure it is turned on. And then it's going to show you a list of the paired devices and the not paired devices. So what we have to do is get it paired, right? So you left mouse click on the Joy EAGF and it says connecting and it's moved up into the paired devices. Now watch it change from connected to paired. And once it's done that, you're done. Congratulations, you've paired and we can go back to where we were when we were setting up before. So just left mouse click off this page anywhere you like. So we're going to start again by left mouse clicking on the Cricut Joy picture. We're going to left mouse click on the arrow here. We're going to make sure the power is plugged in. We're going to left mouse click on the arrow here and the Bluetooth is on. We're going to left mouse click on the green button continue and this time it's not spinning its wheels. It's gone straight through to the next section which shows me that the Cricut Joy has been correctly paired with my computer. Now again I have to left mouse click on this little checkbox. It'll turn the activate button dark green. I left mouse click on that, which will update my ID and activate my setup, which will now be all complete. And I left mouse click on this button next. Now we're here at the Cricut Access. Now you'll be thinking, Cricut Access, what's this? You can continue using this app for free or you can start the one month free trial for the monthly subscription, which is around about $10. That's $10 US, but you can choose to pass on this for now. So I'm just going to left mouse click on maybe later and continue on. Right now we're up to let's test a cut. Now stay on this video and we'll do a test cut together. Now I suggest that you have your machine pretty close to your computer so that you don't have to get up and down. We're going to use the sample piece of smart vinyl that was in the envelope that come with your Cricut Joy. So go grab that silver piece of smart vinyl. 
I'm just going to cut out this flower here. So I'm going to select the flower and then left mouse click on the green button next. We're just following the prompts here. Cricut have made this as easy as they can for you. Now remember I said earlier, get into the habit of reading what's on the screen. So it's asking you to check that the blade is in the machine properly. Once you've checked that, just left mouse click on that little arrow facing to the right. Step two, insert your smart vinyl under the guides and up against the rollers to auto feed. So you just put it in like this and the machine will pull the vinyl in. If you haven't got this set up properly, it won't go forward. So just say, for instance, your smart vinyl won't go into the machine, it will not continue on. Right now, left mouse click on this green button, go. The green button go will not show up if you haven't fed the vinyl into the machine properly. And then it just starts. The cut that the Cricut Joy makes is excellent. Like really, this is the first cut this machine has made. The cut is perfect. You are going to be absolutely amazed with how high quality both the machine is and the cut and the vinyl is on this product. You're going to love it. So I'm letting this cut in real time. It's not sped up. You can see what the machine is actually doing as it cuts out this flower. Every line is perfect. Once it's finished, the app again tells you what to do. So it says unload, left mouse click on this green button, unload, and it will unload that smart vinyl for you. Right now it's pushed it back out of the machine, then you can take it out when it's free and easy to come out. Now look at the quality of this cut. Honestly, it is perfect. Now you've clicked the unload button, the screen will change to this page here, which says test complete. So before I remove the flower from the smart vinyl, I'll show you these Cricut tools. This is the scraper, the spatula, and the weeder. You can buy these from Spotlight, Officeworks, and I'll put a list here for you. So I'm going to use the spiky part of the weeder tool just to lift the corner and then I'm going to peel off the backing only, leave the flower on the mat. So I'm going to peel that away and chuck it. Now I'm going to use the spiky part again to just weed out the background pieces of this flower. Now you only need to weed out the pieces that are not the flower. Now you can see that I'm putting my pieces on the background of the mat. Well, I figured out that wasn't a really smart move, so I moved them off the mat. So that's all finished. Now I'm going to use the Cricut Joy transfer tape. Now if you've got a Cricut Joy and you're buying transfer tape, this again doesn't come in the box, you have to buy it separate. Make sure you're getting it for the Cricut Joy. Now all the transfer tape is, is a very clear tape that will move the flower off the mat and onto the transfer tape so then I can treat it like a sticker. Because can you imagine me trying to peel that flower off, the, off that little mat there? So I'm going to use the spiky part of the weeder tool just to lift the corner. So this is what it looks like. It's very clear and it's very fine. And the grid lines on it help you to square things up. So I'm going to put that over the top of my flower using the edge of the white mat as my straight guide. 
and I'm just going to use my scraper to burnish the transfer tape only on the flower area because I need to lift this clear part off the mat everywhere else. So when I'm lifting it up, you can see my thumb underneath the transfer tape. I'm putting it on the flower. You watch my right hand where my thumb is. And I'm just moving the flower around so I'm lifting that flower off. And the flower is sticky. So that's going to be my sticker. Now I can move this over and place it on my jar. I can place it on a book cover, I can place it on paper, I can place it on a shoe box, I can place this on my fridge if I want to. You can put it anywhere you like. Oh, by the way, it's permanent vinyl, this one. I can see a boo-boo already. Because this is the first time I've put a sticker onto a glass jar, you can see that there's a bubble in the middle of the flower. But I'll show you what I do to fix it. So now you gently come along and peel away the transfer tape and we're left with our flower on the jar. That bubble looks pretty bad. But anyway, here's what I've done to fix it. I've glued on a wax seal and I'm just going to keep my wax seals in this jar. In craft, there's always something we can do to fix our boo-boos. So what we're going to do now is go back to Cricut Design. So left mouse click on this green button, start designing. Again, it's going to offer you the Cricut access. You can take it up or you can decline it. How fun was that? Now, I hope you weren't too stressful going through that setup. I'm pretty sure once you work out how to pair your Cricut with your Bluetooth on your computer, you're going to be fine. So we're going to move on to the next video now and I'll show you how to do a test cut on the cardstock. See you on the next video.